They are recuperating from injuries sustained in the accident, which has claimed two lives since Saturday. These are among the 92 survivors in the Kalumbila accident, which happened when a Fuso truck ferrying mourners overturned along Solwezi Mwinilunga Road. The Northwestern Provincial Administration team has visited the accident victims at Solwezi General Hospital. These were victims who were going to put a, a beloved one to rest. So a truck had overturned and uh, a team uh, which was being headed by the by the clinical care specialists from the province, including surgeons from here, also went to Kalimbila to assist and triage from there who needed to be sent. But treating these accident victims is a challenge due to lack of medical equipment. In terms of the CT scan, uh, unfortunately we don't have. In the ideal state, of course, all trauma victims should have that as a standard. But then, since it's not available, we we'll have to really... Uh, ensure that we take the right people there to do the CT scan. Government says the hospital has just received new equipment to enhance service delivery. It's not that uh, Sarawesi General Hospital is not in the plan of government. It's the process of procurement and very soon Sarawesi or the provincial hospital is going to have a CT scan and a digital x-ray. And in Kalumbila district, 17 people are admitted to Lumwana District Hospital. Patients are sent soft tissue injuries. The wounds were sutured, um, cleaned, and then we just, we just kept them for observation. So these soft tissue injuries were on the head. So we kept them in just for observation. Government wants the driver of the Fuso truck prosecuted. So there was an issue of over speeding on the driver's part. So on the insurance, that is something that will be discussed because as earlier indicated, we are very much interested in to ensure that the vehicles are actually insured so that, that some of the expenses of our, of our patients can be met by them. So they'll be having that meeting at 12 later in the day, but obviously the facts on the ground now are that the driver was drunk and was actually over speeding. Lupindu Lamwewa, ZNBC News, Kalumbila. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.